Hey vlog, welcome back to the channel. Updates, I'm finally back from field work. It's been, it feels like it's been like three years, <laughs> but in reality, it's only been a couple of weeks. Um, and a lot of that time is really spent towards travel because it's such a far distance from Oregon so it took me a minute to get there and get back and now this week I am really focused on unpacking and getting my life back together if y'all watched the last couple of vlogs you know those planes we took were super small and if you haven't guessed it already not all of my bags made it back so I'm still waiting on those um it's been a few days, so we're hoping that we get them soon. It seems like we'll probably get them at the end of next week, which is crazy. <laughs> I just got my bag back today. It's Friday and I got back last Wednesday, so like a week and a half. But fortunately, everything I left in that bag that's not coming back is not super important so it's kind of fine that they left that one behind it would just still be nice to have it let's see outside of that I'm really focusing on getting unpacked like I got my samples and I took those directly back to campus the day we flew back um I didn't really record that but those went straight back to campus so certain stuff could go in the freezer other stuff could just go in the lab like that huge pelican case that had a lot of my research supplies in it are going back to the lab. Field work is over, so spend the next couple of days with me as I get my life together post field work. As soon as we got back, we knew that not all of our bags had made it back with us. I guess that's just a byproduct of traveling heavy and taking multiple flights. But we still drove back to campus and unloaded everything, mainly like our samples that had to go in the lab or in the freezer, and eventually got in contact with our airline to figure out how we could best get our bags back and over the next few days it was really just getting back to a normal schedule i was going to lab meetings i have a dentist appointment coming up i had to get prepared for winter weather again like it's snowing here my body is already rejecting the weather but then i'm also just making a plan for how i want to proceed with the new samples i collected and how i'm going to wrap up with the old samples i had from last year but on top of that there is a conference i need to be heading to coming up soon so make sure you're following to see what it's like attending a local or a state chapter type of meeting and I need to drive down to Newport which is where like our marine campus is to drop some of that stuff off I'll vlog that when it when the time comes I finally drove down to Newport and dropped the stuff off. It's been a super stressful week, so I honestly spent a lot of time at the beach, went to the aquarium, and then I was working out of Newport for the rest of the day and dropped off those heaters, aquarium pumps, temperature control units, etc. What else do I need to do this week? I think my life together, like registration for spring term is coming up this week. If you don't know, Oregon State is on a quarter system, not a semester system. So our winter term is ending right about now and spring term is starting in like a few weeks. So time to get that prepared. I'm in the writing phase of my life right now. Like I am working on writing up a manuscript for a study that I've been working on since I got to Oregon to be honest and this is going to be pretty much my master's thesis once it's done so I just need to finish making some edits um keep working on some figures and hopefully I'll be done soon like the end of next term for sure but I'll keep you updated on that all right We'll see what happens next. All right, hey vlog. I am getting myself together because today is the first day of a conference. Uh, AFS is American Fishery Society, and it's a conference I have participated in for probably the past like four years now. And AFS is an international meeting or international organization. Literally, there are AFS chapters throughout the world. And within AFS, there's obviously the national meeting, but then there's, or the international meeting, but then there are meetings for different regions and different chapters. 
Um, I don't know the exact breakdown of everything, but like for me, I participate in the international meeting, which it happens usually like in November every year. And then sometimes I'll attend the Western Division meeting, which consists of like the entire Western part of the US, I believe. So that would be like California, Washington, Oregon, Idaho. And then there are like chapters for specific regions or states. And I participate in the Oregon chapter of AFS. Not every chapter is just one state. Some of them are like multiple states, I believe. I could be wrong, but you can just look up AFS online if you're interested in joining. It's a cool meeting because obviously it's about fish and it's dealing with both freshwater and marine fisheries. So I get to see stuff that I'm already like a bit more familiar with and like I can relate a lot more to through different marine fishery meetings. Like there is the International Latin American and Caribbean Fisheries Congress, which I will be going to this May. And that involves a lot of the work I do with um, Grouper in the Cayman Islands, but then there's also people that do a lot of freshwater stuff and people that like the national meeting this year is in Michigan and that's super valid for like all of the Great Lake um, opportunities that happen within the organization. So yeah, really cool organization. Would definitely recommend if you're into fish in the marine biology side of things and it definitely expands your mind into fish in both marine worlds and freshwater worlds and potentially gives you even more opportunities if you're interested in that type of work. Benefits of joining a professional society is that it does open up opportunities for you. There are different scholarships, internships, et cetera, within job opportunities, et cetera, posted within professional societies. AFS is not the only one. There's ASLO, which is for like limnology and oceanography. There's um, ESA, which is Ecological Society of America. There are more specific things, like there are like literal meetings just on sea turtles and <laughs> organizations. Black and marine science is a really big one for Black people and like minorities in marine science fields. Yeah, pretty much any specialty there is, like there's meetings for climate change, there's meetings for reptiles, there's meetings for birds, seabirds, mammals, acoustics, like if you're into like noise pollution, sound, etc. So if you have an idea of what you're interested in, I would definitely look up those types of meetings, see what's going on, get involved because they are definitely very helpful for a lot of networking opportunities. I actually met my current advisor at an AFS meeting in 2018 or 2019, I can't remember now, but obviously connection opportunities are available at these different types of meetings. All right, now I need to hurry up and run to this meeting. So I will take you guys along and vlog what it'll be like throughout the week. Today's the first day. You know what's crazy is like two weeks ago, not even two weeks ago, but I was in a tropical, tropical location, sunshine, 80 degrees, great weather. And now it's snowing and 30 degrees outside. Going to conferences is super important. It gives you a chance to share your research, network, and learn more about other people's research. Sometimes it's not always easy to go to national or international meetings because of travel requirements. And if that's the case, I would definitely check out your local or state chapter meetings. For example, AFS, which is American Fishery Society, is an international professional society, but is also broken down into various divisions and chapters throughout the world. And so there's an Oregon chapter for AFS and they have a meeting every year. And so I got to go to this year's meeting to network. I got to take a data visualization workshop. I got to watch other people's presentations and there's a lot of networking opportunities and they'll have like job boards posted where you could actually find potential like work opportunities just going to a conference and talking to people.